In this screencast, I'll show you how to make zombies appear randomly in your game. And to uh, start that, um, what we'll do is I'll actually make a class called Zombie Spawner. So we can spawn zombies using this class. Um, it's not really going to have an image when we um, compile our final game, but so that we can see it right now, I'm going to make it this hand. And there's a whole bunch of different ways you could actually accomplish um, putting zombies on your screen. I like this zombie spawner class because when you're testing your game, um, it's really annoying to have zombies chasing you all the time. If you're working on something like uh, picking up weapons or a health pack or something like that. So the ability to turn the zombies on and off is pretty nice. So to uh, start this off, we'll go into our class and... Um, there's also a bunch of different ways that you can actually put zombies on your screen. I'm going to use random numbers and probability to do this. So really, the way to start this is we'll start with um, a method. So we'll go public void and we'll call this spawn. And what we'll do here is I actually want to use random numbers here. So I'm going to just start with an if statement. I'm going to say if green foot dot get random number and then in parentheses of getting a random number you put the, the biggest number you want green foot to get so I want it to be 100 so it's going to get a random number between 0 and 100 and so I'm going to say if we get a random number if the random number is 1, that'll actually give me a 1% chance of getting a zombie. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to um, get the world, and I'm going to add an object, and I'm going to add a new zombie, and then I need two coordinates to put it. And so, um, for right now, I'm going to say that uh, I want the zombie to be at 400 and 0. So that should put it right in the middle of my game, of my screen, and at the top of the screen. And so I will close this up. I don't know why I had that extra parenthesis there. And we can just kind of test this here. So we can go to spawn and cause all that right there. Compile it. It should be fine. And actually, um, I'll show you how this kind of works. Nothing's going to happen until I put one of these zombie spawners on the screen. I'll put that down there, and you'll see that we have a zombie show up. We actually have two. Um, and if you notice, we have a 1% chance of getting a zombie every time Greenfoot runs this code. And so it's not just a 1% chance, it's a 1% chance every time it runs that code. So that's why we have a lot of zombies on the screen. Now the zombies here keep appearing right here at 0 and 800, or 0 and 400. And so they're all going to appear here. So I'm going to change my zombie code just a little bit that maybe I want this to be a random number. So I can say this can be a green foot dot get random number and in parentheses I could type um, get world dot get with and so now what Greenfoot will do is it'll get a random number the width of the world so if I compile this and I'm going to I'll run the game a little bit with my guy down here so we can see him. Put this zombie spawner on the screen and run it. Now, zombies will appear anywhere above this axis here. So the first one came at 400, now one came from over there. As I run away from the zombies, they're all coming from random numbers there. So that's a little bit more realistic. Now, for this to be a little bit more interesting here, um, you can see that the zombies are going at zero. So when I put a zombie on the screen, zero would be half on and half off. And maybe that's not a big deal, but if we want it to look like the zombie is actually walking onto the screen, 
we could do that in two steps. We have to go to the zombie world, and in this super method right here, we put a comma and we put false. And that actually allows things to walk off the screen. So if we compile that, all that really does is let things go off the screen. So my soldier guy can actually walk off the screen over here. And what that's going to allow me to do is actually spawn zombies up off the screen and have them walk onto the screen. So then if I go to my zombie spawner and I say that I want them to actually start at negative 10 off the screen, you can compile that and walk down here so we can see it. We could put a zombie spawner on the screen and press run. Now the zombies will actually kind of walk onto the screen. Just like that. So, um, again, that's removing that zombie spawner is nice because then you can test things and you won't have a ton of zombies chasing you. So, that's how you can spawn zombies. This is actually one side, so if you wanted to do another side, you could copy this if statement. Um, you would actually probably want to change this number right here. If you change this to 2, you'd still have a 1% chance of getting zombies. And then just kind of modify the coordinates of where the zombies appear on the screen. So, that's uh, how to spawn some zombies in your survival game.